Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Shazana Bitahashi and I'm going to present phosphorus absorption by cocker shell with a sustainable approach. Agriculture has increased the amount of phosphorus discharge into surface water leading to water pollution and environmental degradation. However, the non-stop demand economy of agriculture has caused excess phosphorus discharge leading to environmental degradation, including water pollution. The uncontrolled amount of phosphorus discharge accelerates eutrophication and algal blooms. This situation causes an increase in biochemical oxygen demand and the failure of aquatic ecosystem. Cocker shell have grown as a valuable ecological marine product in Malaysia. It contributes to about 93% of marine aquaculture production. The high amount of untreated cocker shell waste leaves an unpleasant odor and visual disturbance to the surrounding. Excessive amounts of phosphorus can be treated with the absorption method. Carson cocker shell waste contains more than 95% calcium carbonate by weight. They can be used as a low-cost absorber material as they have shown good performance for the removal of organic and inorganic metals in polluted water. Materials and method. For that absorbent, first we have to collect cocker shells from Teluk Kerang Pontian, and then the cocker shell will clean up using tap water and brush to remove any debris. Then the shell will boil for 10 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius before being air dry at room temperature. The cocker shell will then dry in a drying oven at 110 degrees Celsius for 2 hours to ensure complete drying before being crushed with a pestle and mortar. And then the shell was boiled mill using the dry millimeter for 45 minutes at 500 RPM. Subsequently, the resultant microsize powder was sieved using a stainless steel laboratory filter with an aperture of 75 micron. Finally, the powder was cast in a camber furnace and stored in a ziplock bag. To produce the synthetic solution to test the absorption process, 0.1433 gram of N high grass potassium phosphate was dissolved in 1 liter of dianas water to make a 100 ppm stock solution in a volumetric flask. Then 500 ml of the stock solution was diluted with 500 ml of dianas water in another volumetric flask, bringing the concentration to 50 ppm. Finally, in a volumetric flask labeled as 10 ppm, 200 ml of a 50 ppm solution was diluted with 800 ml of dianas water to make a phosphate solution at the desired experimental concentration of 10 ppm. Absorption studies, the best method for removing phosphorus from synthetic wastewater is via the absorption process. After the process of absorption in orbital shaker, the absorbate and absorbent was splattered using filter paper. The absorbate of 25 ml of potassium phosphate was added with 1 ml of molybdate reagent and 1 ml of amino acid reagent. The final concentration of phosphorus solution was measured using the UV spectrophotometer. The percentage of removal efficiency as well as the phosphorus absorption capacity were calculated. Different dosage of CCS absorbent was added to a set of conical flasks containing 100 ml of 10 ppm phosphate solution. The solution absorbent mixture were then incubated for 60 minutes in an incubator shaker set to 30 de 37 degrees Celsius and 150 rpm. The phosphate removal effectiveness and suction capacity of various absorbent dosage were calculated using equation 1 and 2. Various duration of 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 minutes were used for the test. The other experimental conditions were kept constant with a 10 ppm initial concentration of phosphate solution and 1 gram of CCS for absorbent dosage. The samples were placed on an incubator shaker with a 150 rpm agitation at a constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. FTIR was conducted to determine the presence of functional group of CaCO3 in the raw cocker shell sample and CaO in the calcine cocker shell sample. From the figure 1 depends in the IR spectra with N Absorption range of 400 until 4000 cm inverse. Different types of pores are commonly absorbed in the range of nitrogen since the function of the FTIR is to identify the functional group. For calcai cocker shells, the tetristic FTIR bands were observed at 710.89, 871.22, 1395, and 3341.07. For the treatment time experiment, the prominent bands were at 711.7, 871.42, and 1393.40. The difference between the three spectra was the observation of a new peak on the carcan cocker shell absorption spectrum at 3341.07 cm inverse. Scanning electron microscopy SAM used to observe the surface morphology of low cocker shell RCS and carcan cocker shell CCS. Figure 2A show the same image of RCS while figure 2B show the same image of CCS. The average diameter of the cocker shell powder particle was 10 micron indicating the availability of a network of porous surface texture that result in higher surface areas for post-porous absorption. The RCS micrograph show a combination of stone and fine powder particles. On the other hand, the CCS micrograph illustrate a color shape with space that grew larger as a result of the high calcination temperature. This space of porosity may be capable of trapping adsorbents during the physical adsorption process. Different adsorbent doses were used to study the removal efficiency of phosphorus and the adsorption capacity for phosphorus from the synthetic wastewater solution. As shown in figure 3, the phosphorus removal efficiency by CCS was proportional to the adsorbent dosage. As the adsorbent dosage increased from 0.2 to 1 gram, the phosphorus removal efficiency by CCS CCS increased from 87.65 to 95.96. The higher removal percentage indicate more phosphorus is attached to the adsorbent surface at dosage. However, when adsorbent dosage was increased from 0.2 to 1 gram, the phosphorus adsorption decreased from 5.04 to 1.9 mg per gram. Phosphorus adsorption was initially quite fast, and longer contact time resulted in higher phosphorus removal. Phosphorus adsorption increased from 88.43 to 95.74 between 20 and 60 minutes as figure 4. The increase in phosphorus adsorption may be due to the longer the contact period. 
In brief, CCS is an ideal substrate for increasing the rate of phosphorus removal. When duration of absorption increase from 20 to 60 minutes, phosphorus absorption capacity of CCS increase from 1.02 to 1.10 mg per gram. The CCH, which acts as a natural absorbent, appears to be effective in removing phosphate compound from synthetic wastewater solution. The efficiency of CaCO3 from Kakan Cockle shell powder with the highest dosage of 1 gram has removed 94.96% of phosphorus in the synthetic wastewater. The interval time of 60 minutes show that 95.74% of phosphorus has been absorbed efficiently. From the result, the waste cockle shell is highly potential to remove phosphorus had achieved up to 96% greater than the previous result. This convenience and low-cost research of cockle shell absorption is useful and needed more findings in order to improve and develop greener technology that will only bring benefits to the environment. Division to society. First, environmental remediation. Phosphorus pollution in water bodies leads to eutrophication causing harmful algal blooms and depletion of oxygen, which adversely affects aquatic life. It can contribute to the removal of phosphorus from water, thereby adding in environmental remediation efforts. Second, waste utilization. Provide a sustainable solution by utilizing this waste material for a beneficial purpose, reducing environmental pollution and promoting the concept of circular economy. And the last one, community engagement involves collaboration with local seafood industry for the collection of cocker shell waste, fostering community engagement and promoting awareness about environmental issues and sustainable practice. Here is achievement for this project which is publication in general industrial and domestic waste management. Thank you.